64 degrees half hour before sunrise so yikes um november 10th though we gotta go get in the tree things have got to happen regardless of the temperatures so um gonna dive into the other side of the wood lock that the wood lot that i hunted yesterday morning and the first morning we were here i just keep seeing deer in that wood lot so we're just gonna keep putting our eyes on it um yeah it's kind of the short of it not on any anything uh earth shattering as far as strategy other than trying to i think i'm gonna get on a roadway this morning though this wood block so we're basically just shifted to the other side set up for a few minutes now deer were moving as soon as we got up I mean I didn't even get the camera turned on and talked to you before I had two does right here 30 yards nothing was behind them then I had a small spike come out up downwind got squirrely jumped out he went around me just come up come out on down here a ways and had a really young eight pointer. He was real pretty, laid out real nice, but he was a uh, young deer. Uh, come up kind of the same route the spike took, got downwind of him, he got squirrely and hopped off in the woods. So, what we're at this morning is a, uh, a road here, like a gravel road, and uh, a fence line about locking my carabiner in here but a fence line about 10 or 15 yards inside the road so what I'm hoping is these bucks those does are crossing this road deer are crossing this road back and forth I'm hoping those bucks are going to walk and kind of parallel this thing to intersect all those trails and I'm hoping this fence line acts as a, uh, a barrier to kind of funnel them this way
o'clock. Um, activity tanked after that little flurry we had at daylight. So we ain't seen nothing after that little uh, our wide eight corner friend. And we can see a lot of ground up here. I can probably see 200 that way and probably close to that that way. So um, fixed to get down. Wind's coming in nice, blowing in this front. Um, it's going to be close whether we're going to be able to get in and hunt this evening because the rain's going to start. Oh, pardon me. Um, rain's going to start this evening right about dark. So it'd be a great evening to get in there. It's just if that moves up any, it may get drenched. So I'm going to climb down for now. See if I can't have a little extra time in the middle of the day to get some stuff done. So, see you this evening or tomorrow, or we'll see you again. I'm not sure when. Top of the morning to you fellas and gals out there watching. Me and dad's headed in to go hunt a timber block we haven't been able to hunt yet because of the wind. We had our front that we've been waiting on move through last night and it was a humdinger, but it's pushed the winds now out of the northwest. So, I'm gonna go get some, see some fresh woods for the first time since we started here four or five days ago. So, oh, got all your stuff. Good luck. end and the south end of the same big timber block so hopefully we're going to be able to uh, kind of scope this thing out and if he's a good and in there maybe one of us will have him in bow range Draw my boat back or wait. It's gonna work. Be safe. I might need to go ahead and get it drawn back. It's uh, about a quarter after nine. Been pretty slow for me. Actually, it's 9.35. And uh, I'm not going to give it too much longer because while we're uh, while we're I'm sitting here not seeing anything we get a target 
on that property that we went and scouted a couple of days ago and we hung a bunch of cameras just trying to on familiar ground and just trying to learn it see what was on it and uh, he just popped up in the daylight today so 8:24 this morning he looks like he's <clears throat> right behind the doe <clears throat> anyways we're gonna be there this evening we were fixing to shift our efforts over there anyway but we wanted to hunt this block of timber since we hadn't been able to look into it uh, with all that being said my dad just up the ways here he ain't put about 200 yards from me but apparently he's been covered up in deer all morning and has shot a decent buck said he don't know if he even hit it but um said not huge but decent was his exact word so we got to go down there and see if we can't round that joker a little bit here it's dried but it's blood right up through there blood right up there. Same in the ditch right yeah. there. Bad deer tall. That's the deer that I saw. That's the deer that I saw uh come up on the other day. Yeah, that ain't no young deer. No, I didn't I knew if I didn't feel like it was young, buddy. Yeah, that's a dang nice. You said he was just a decent deer. I'm gonna tell you what, Dave. If you'd have seen that deer come across that hill, side of that hill, this morning, the one that I told you, I believe you could set this one down inside him. That's, that's a shame. That's freaking. That's a stud. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We know how big it is. <laughs> this, you just said he was decent. He wasn't huge. Yeah. But that is a freaking. Well, you asked me, was he a big one? I said, was he big for me? <laughs> Cause look at that base right there. Oh lordy. <laughs> look at the body on that joker. Hey, come. That's what you come to Oklahoma for, right there. Huh. Man, he didn't make it, but what, 100 yards maybe? Yeah, I seen him to that. You know, I told yeah, you, you said you saw him to that. that. White Look where he tumbled right down that hill right there. Yeah. See that blood? Couldn't get out of this but, ditch, could he? Evidently, it, it's not low as this. It probably it should be lower than that. Though, it got to be, side. yeah. I mean, it's bugging my boy. All right, you ready? One, two, three. Oh, God. <laughs> you don't realize how big. You better, uh, you have any to flip him? Well, you gotta worry about his antlers hitting If you flip him, you gotta worry about his legs. You check his legs in. Yeah. Well, we left old Pops by the skinning rack with his buck, and I'm headed in here to try to get one of us, get one of my own. We're on the uh, the property that we scouted the other day and threw out all those cameras. I guess it was three days ago, four days ago now. Um, started getting some big deer, old deer, on camera in the daylight. So, I'm going to go try to throw a sit at a spot where we can see a long way. This property is actually this berm right here that you see. That's the berm of a, a uh, shooting range. And this property's on the other side of it, so. Yeah, I guess the deer don't mind. I guess they get used to it, so.
running because of my wind. Because I'm walking. The wind's directly at my back. Because I'm having to basically walk the north boundary and hook into where I want to be. So that my wind, if I just went straight in, my wind would cover what I'm wanting to hunt. And there's deer all up in there right now. I don't I mean, I guess they're running because of me, but they could be just, that buck could be, it was a buck, pretty nice buck behind them, running. Them. So I don't know if they're running because they got my wind or if he's just got them up and pushing them around. We appreciate you guys joining us for this video. If you like this one, you'll probably like the next one. I'll leave it up here in the corner. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along with us. We'll leave our social media links down at the description below. That's also where you'll be able to find links on the turkey calls we use and the apparel we wear and that kind of stuff. So you can find that in that little drop-down description below. And uh, as always, we sure appreciate you guys following along.